So I'm back with my super cheap mouses or mice and luckily my cat didn't eat them and I had an idea what happens if I swap the LED for a different color. And I tried to swap one for green. This one is the original red one, this one is the green and surprisingly the one where I swapped the LED for green one works much better. Not only it's much brighter, it also works really well. It actually works even on shiny surfaces. The original one doesn't work on shiny surfaces, but this one does. So I will keep the green one and I will replace this red one for another color. Maybe blue, white, maybe infrared or even ultraviolet. Let's try it. So let's begin with a blue LED. I will desolder this one and I will hope my camera will focus. Yes. And the red one is out. And this is my super soldering iron. It's actually a vintage device from 1982. Really old, but still works the best. And you have to keep the polarity of the LED. It actually is marked on the board. And the longer one is always the positive or the anode. It goes here. So let's put the blue one into it. And the LED is there. So let's bend the wires. And solder it into the place. And that's it. Let's check it. And it works really well. Super bright blue. So you have to bend the LED in about the same angle as the original one. Corrupt the wires. And that's it. So in the green versus red battle the green one won and it continues into the next round. And now that's green versus blue. So I have compared green with blue and it seems to be almost the same. Maybe the blue is just a very tiny little bit better but both of them work really well and it seems like any other color is better than the original red one. So green and blue seems to be very good but let's try to swap the green one for infrared. I have 850 nanometer infrared LED here and let's try it. So I have swapped the LED for infrared one. Now you can see a very dim light in it because the camera is slightly sensitive to infrared. I have tried the infrared one on my computer and it works on most surfaces except the shiny ones. So the infrared one appears to be about the same as the red one. The green and blue one are still the best. And the infrared one is definitely not the champion, so let's swap it for white one. So the white one is there and I'm going to check it. So it seems to me that the white one is much better than the red one, but still not as good as the blue and the green one. And now the last idea and the craziest idea is going to be the ultraviolet LED. I have put an ultraviolet LED into it and let's test it. And it's important to notice that ultraviolet LEDs can actually be harmful for human eyes and ultraviolet light can also degrade the plastic lens over time. But anyway, let's check it. So I have tested it and the conclusion is that it works on some surfaces but it's completely useless on shiny surfaces and it doesn't even work properly on white surface. And so it's even a little bit worse than the original red one. So the ultraviolet may sound cool, but it's not the way to go in a computer mouse. 
So I have sorted the colors from the best one to the worst one. And the performance is the best with the blue one and almost the same with the green one. Then the white one goes, red one, infrared and the ultraviolet is the worst. So I have decided to keep the green and the blue one in my two rodents. This is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.